To celebrate the wedding of Catherine and William later this month, the BBC sent its very own one-show reporter Giles Brandwith to St Peter's Church to find out more about the organ in which Mendelssohn's wedding march was first played. I caught up with him while he was filming in the church to find out more. Well, I'm here in Tiverton making a film for the one show, and we've come to this beautiful historic church of St. Peter's. It goes back to the conquest, as I understand it, but we've come to celebrate a more recent past, a bit of its history, 1847. The 2nd of June, 1847, a wedding took place here, and we don't know much about the young couple who got married. He was 21, she was 20, we know that, uh, and they were called Thomas and Ooh, can't remember her name now, Deborah. Anyway, the pair of them got married, and what was interesting was that at the wedding, a tune was played. It was The Wedding March by Felix Mendelssohn, taken from his incidental music to A Midsummer Night's Dream, and it's become probably the most famous piece of wedding music ever played. And we're going to be making this film, which is going out on the one show on the 29th of April, the day of the royal wedding. Uh, and we're going to be telling the story of this particular piece of music, how it began its life as church music here in this church. And it was a piece of music, this wedding march, that was actually played at Princess Victoria's wedding, daughter to um, Queen Victoria and Prince Albert, who turned out to be friends of Felix Mendelssohn, who was the most popular and really acclaimed composer of his day, a uh, contemporary of uh, Queen Victoria and a bit older. Um, he dined with Dickens, he was shown the Clifton Suspension Bridge, I think, by Isambard Kingdom Brunel himself. Came to England a lot, though he was German in origin. So, I know all this today because I'm here doing it, but I've probably forgotten it before the film goes out. So I'll watch the film with interest, 7pm, BBC One, 29th of April. Giles was joined by the editor of BBC Music magazine and organist, Oliver Condy. Oh, it's it great fun making a bit of history, isn't it? It's great fun sort of researching this stuff. I mean, I had no idea the wedding march was played here in, in, in a wedding for the very first time back in the 19th century. So I love this kind of thing. It's always good fun. How does it feel to be playing the very first organ that the tune was played on so many years ago. Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah, it's good fun. It's, it's, like, it's like playing a, I don't know, like being in a, a, a museum and playing a piano that perhaps a great composer played. Oh, I love that kind of thing, yeah. So, um, have you done anything like this before? Um, not quite like this, no. I've played for hundreds of weddings and played the wedding march a lot of weddings, but uh, never been filmed at the organ, that's a first. So, uh, so yes, a, a good day, I think. The show even recreated the original wedding of Dorothy Carew and Tom Daniel. So let's hope the sun is shining and the organ is ready for the big day on April the 29th. Lewis Clark, Blues News in Tiverton. Thank you.